viewers welcome to this video lecture series on analysis and design of algorithms in this session i shall give you a trick to remember the formulas that are used in the strassen's matrix multiplication in my previous session i have explained the matrix multiplication method wherein you have seen there are several formulas that are used in order to compute the product of two matrices so how to remember these formulas definitely for all of us wherever there is no logical concept it is quite difficult for us to remember so here i'll give you a trick to remember this trick you need to first write down how normally you used to write the elements of matrices that is a 2 by 2 matrix so you are writing in this manner only a11 a12 a21 a22 this are the four elements okay and for another matrix how do you write b11 b12 b21 and b22 so first write in this manner only simply uh, at one side and then start writing the formula so we have seen in the previous session you have to remember seven formulas here seven plus when you try to write the final elements in the resultant matrix c11 c12 c21 and c22 there you have four formulas so seven plus four eleven formulas you need to remember for all the seven formulas you are assigning it to some variables this particular trick is useful if you are using the variables p q r s t u v so let us write the formulas here using the trick whatever i had written here the elements of a matrix a and matrix b this will help us in writing the formula for p okay first we are going to write it for p how to write what you do is you just refer the first matrix a11 and a22 so this diagonal elements okay first you just see which are the elements that are there diagonally placed which are the elements that are diagonally placed here it is a11 and a22 so you can write down a11 and you need to use the addition operation here a11 plus a22 the other part of the formula is you, you will be multiplying this with b11 plus b22 it's b11 and these are the two diagonal elements so b11 and b22 you can write e11 plus b22 so this completes here the formula for p next we should write down for q and next you should write down for r so for q r s t for these four okay q r s t for all these four you need to first write like this to remember you write down simply like how you write the elements 1 1 1 2 2 1 2 so write this at one place now you are going to start writing the formulas for q r s t see what you do is for q you are going to start from left to right okay you can show like this from left to right for q and write down let me tell you how you are going to use this elements this is for q and for r it from top to bottom for r for s it is from bottom to top and for t it is left to right so first make ready like this so it is q here from left to right t is also from left to right r is from top to bottom and s is from bottom to top and you place the operations that is the plus and minus for each of these formulas which you are writing for q it is plus okay you are going to use the addition symbol in the formula so you can write down plus for t it is plus and for s it is minus and for r it is minus so these also you keep ready you can easily remember wherever there is left to right it is plus and the other two possibilities from top to bottom or bottom to top it is minus start writing the formulas and after that one more thing you can write down here you write here simply the letters b a a b okay so basically what this part you need to remember uh, write down this part and this part now with all these three only we are going to write the formulas here b a a b you simply write like this b a a b okay after you write b a a b for q r s t you are referring to b 1 1 so b 1 1 you simply write like this 1 1 2 2 1 1 2 2 in the same order so 1 1 2 2 1 1 2 2 2 next inside the bracket now you need to write the expression for, for all these four variables uh, in the formula if the outside term is with b the inside expression will be with a you are writing for q refer this here you can check q is from left to right that means you are going to write down 
A21 and A22. As I told, if outside if it is B, you can write down inside as A21 plus Y plus because here also we have already indicated in our diagram. If it is Q, it is plus. So, you can write down A21 plus A22. So, this completes the expression for the Q, formula for Q. And next you have R, R outside is A, then inside the bracket it will be B. And you are carrying out for R. R here in the diagram it is from what? It is from top to bottom. That means top you are going to use 1, 2 and next term you are using 2, 2. And the symbol here is minus. So, you can write down here B, 1, 2 minus B, 2, 2. Next is yes. So, yes here in the diagram if you see what we have kept is from bottom to top from bottom to top that means the first expression will be with respect to 2 1 and next is 1 1 if outside if it is a inside will be b b 2 1 and the symbol is minus here minus b 1 1 next is t and here outside the bracket if it is with respect to b inside it will be with respect to a only and what to use here so, T is from left to right 1 1 and 1 2. So, 1 1 1 2 you are going to write it with respect to A because outside the bracket it is B. A 1 1 and the symbol to be used for T is plus. So, plus A 1 2. So, this way you have made ready the formulas for Q R S T. Next is U N V. U will get constructed from S and T. Okay. U will get constructed from S and T. From yes, inside the bracket expression is B21 minus B11. Now, in place of B, you replace with A when you are writing for U. So, it will be A21 minus A11. So, this part a, B21 and B11, whatever was there, same thing you are going to now write it here, but you are convert, but you are replacing B with A. A21 minus A11. Here you have one more part in the formula. In this, you have A11 and A12. The same thing you can write here, but now you need to replace A with B. B11 plus B12. Got it? This is why I told you, U is getting constructed from S and T. You are borrowing from S, this B21 and B11, but replacing the letter B with A. Okay, and next expression, you are borrowing from T and you are taking in place of A, you are writing B. The last expression is V. Now, V will get constructed from Q and R. As you have constructed U from S and T, V will get constructed from Q and R. Q has got inside the bracket A21 plus A22. So, U will be writing for V B21 plus B22. R has got B12 minus B22. So, U will be writing A12 So, this part I will show it neatly. From S and T, you are writing the formula for and from Q and R, you are writing the formula for V. And now, finally, you have the remaining four formulas wherein you are writing for C11, C12, C21 and C22. Now, C11, if you remember, the formula is like this P and C12 is to remember these formulas p plus s minus t plus v r plus t q plus s p plus r minus q plus u so the trick is first you look for c12 so for c12 you remember like this r a t this a is for addition so you are simply writing here r plus t r plus t so this one is for c12 and below that you have q and s for c21 so remember this will be more easy for you to remember you have the previous expression r plus t before r the alphabet is q and before t the alphabet is s so q plus s you can remember for c21 next uh, remaining is the first one p s t v p r q u and for this what you do is first write down the symbols for c11 you have plus symbol minus plus these three are the operations for c22 you have the plus minus plus at least this is easy for us to remember you can check here plus minus plus leave one gap here so you are writing for c11 and c22 plus 
C11 equal to you have to fill the letters here or write down the letters from the left side onwards. So write the letters like this from the left side V, v T S P. So why I wrote from the left side is for for V I am just using V stands for here value value T time value time to become what successful P powerful V value T time to become what S successful P powerful that way if you re remember this sentence value time to become successful and powerful you can write down VTSP so this is what in the X formula VTSP but it has to be from the left side uh, addition and subtraction it is easy for us to remember plus minus plus even C22 has got in the same order plus minus plus and here the letters are UQRP U Q R P. So once again from the left side, U stands here for your Q is Q only. I'll tell you. And R is R and P is payment. Hope you are trying to guess now what, what uh, sentence I want to make here. See nowadays we are all making the digital transactions and to give the payment we require the QR code. So you can say like this. Uh, give give you just leave your your give your qr code for making the payment this is just a trick here to remember the formulas if you have some other tricks you can use it definitely and try to remember the formulas because you can see that you are using 11 formulas here and for all the 11 formulas all the operations whether it is plus minus everything has to go correctly because you know that even one plus and one minus getting interchanged you are not going to get the right result so for the students this sentence is very much needed value time so that you become successful once you are successful automatically you become powerful value time to become successful and powerful hope you find this trick helpful to remember the formulas please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care